Staples. Today we have a beautiful 1989 Mustang for everyone. Um, but before we get into this, make sure and follow our Facebook, our Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube, and make sure and click the bell to turn the notifications on. And check out all of our available inventory on AutoHouseStaples.com. Alright, so today we have a really beautiful 1989 Ford Mustang. This is the GT Convertible. This one's in really good shape. We got a super cold floor today. This is as cold as it gets here, 50 some degrees, and very windy, so hopefully it's not too loud with the wind today. But um, this one is finished in a really pretty color. It's a bright red exterior is the color. And then it's gonna have this white top that's gonna match with the bright red. And then your interior seats, you're gonna have the red and the white. And it looks really good overall. Up front, you have these really beautiful headlights. And this is a fourth generation Mustang. And this is part of the kind of like the second half of that first generation, or it's not first, third generation. So this one's gonna have the restyled design. Up at the beginning, like the 80s Mustangs, they looked pretty different. The front had the, these quad headlights. And so these newer ones of the fourth generation. Um, it's kind of the end of the 80s and the early 90s. They had this new redesigned front. The whole entire front's been redesigned. And then they got these new headlights, which look a lot more sleek than previous generations. Another change is you're going to have, specific to the GT model, these 15-inch turbine wheels. I really like them with the Ford emblem. And these ones are 225-50-R, or 60-R. 15s. Really good straight, pretty good shape overall. And then another change that's very specific to the GT. Oh my gosh, the planes, the winds, the cold. All the elements are against us today. Um, along the side here, you have this um, really nice aerodynamic, this lower body side skirting. It's got your Mustang GT on it kind of adds a little bit extra of, you know, depth on the car. And so inside you can again see here, let's take a little peek to the, uh, the interior. So you're going to have this all red to match the outside and then the white seats that match the top. The colors in this car are really top notch. It's probably one of the best combos for this car. Got your and the leather is just in insane condition. For a 1989, the fact that the seats are in as great shape as they are is amazing. Back here again, you have those same 15 inch wheels, your Ford emblem. Oh my gosh, it's about to be a tornado over here. It's windy. And then on the back, this is another really neat look. So you have these on these tail lights you're gonna have um these triple louvered cover like these lenses over the tail lights i think it's real neat that they're all body colored so any other car they're going to be you know different color but i really like them it kind of i don't know it's just a different look that you, you don't see too often on the back you have your mustang gt down there as well Now let's show you guys the trunk. So we will pop that up. And in here, you're going to have a car cover and you're also going to have a boot cover. So it's really nice to have both of those. Um, the space in here is not too bad. Probably not gonna be fitting a family vacation of five suitcases in here, but it's not bad overall. You got a decent amount of space. And one thing here that I think is hilarious is you've got this luggage rack ish i guess i mean it's just kind of a, a funky thing that they've got on the back of these it looks kind of neat but it's it's hilarious because the practicality of strapping on a suitcase i guess because the trunk's not big enough for a suitcase but still it's just kind of a little interesting um yeah the overall styling it's really well done these are probably kind of one of the you know more sporty looking models it looks really great the white top just pops but let's pop the hood speaking of pops all right and as you can already see over here by the badging it's going to be a five 
1.0 liter. Jeez, I knew where it was at. So this one's really well maintained and it's super clean underneath here for a car from 1989. This is going to be a 5.0 liter V8, going to give you about 225 horsepower. It is a Mustang so you got to have quite a few ponies dancing around under the hood. Top speed is about 145, that was kind of like a hard exact number to get so maybe I'm a little wrong on that, there's kind of different... Um, information on that. People are saying that they tested it themselves and I, I don't know, but it, let's go with 140. Maybe we'll test it out today. 0 to 60 about 6.1 seconds, but overall it's in really great shape and it's a really fun car to drive. It sounds good. This one's working in really great condition. this white leather seating that's super nice Oops. and it just looks really clean in here I just can't believe the shape and condition that this one's in you've got your steering wheel your instrument cluster everything like that it's in really great shape even the back seats probably not too much wear on the back seat since you don't have the most leg room back there all right let's start it up then we can show you some more. All right, so in here too, a couple more things. I really like this uh, instrument cluster right here. You've got your main gauges, push those planes. You've got your main gauges that are really important. You've got your RPMs and your uh, speedometer, and then everything else is kind of pushed to the side, as it should be, not as relevant. Up here, you're gonna have your top button, which is kind of funny because when the first time I was ever trying to put the top down on one of these Mustangs, it was really hard to find. And then one more feature you're gonna have, since this is the 25th anniversary of the Mustang, the only thing that you're gonna have is this little, little, little tiny emblem. It says 25 years, but it is really cool that they have that in there. Um, it's just kind of funny that, you know, the 25th anniversary, it's kind of a big deal. And it's just like, let's throw a little tiny Mustang on there. But I think it's kind of unique and it's cool that you have that on there, you know? It's better than any other one. 88, you're not gonna have that, or 90. In here, you're gonna have your glove box. And my favorite is you have your trunk button over here and your fuel door release. So you're gonna have both of those right there. I think it's kind of funny that they're in the glove box. It was hard to find at first. But then you're gonna have, you know, a decent space there. You can put some books, anything like that. And then you're gonna have all of your temperature settings right here. Heat, air, everything works really good in this one. I had the heat on just a minute ago because it's freezing here in Florida. Or maybe I'm just a whip. I'm a Floridian adjusted, adjusted to the uh, hot weather. And then down there, you're gonna have your radio, of course. And then your shifter. I like you got this little compartment down here if you just wanna like put your phone or keys or something like that right there for the meantime. And then you're gonna have your ashtray cigarette lighter. And then right here, you're also going to have a decent sized space. You've got the slots for, I wanna say CDs, or no, cassette? I don't know, you got some slots in there if you wanna put something in there, but you do have a decent amount of space. And then you can pull that up as well if you don't want in the way, you don't want the rest. And you got like these, these two little spots for kinda of like a phone or pen something like that and then you also got your adjustments for your side mirrors and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the top down so the first thing right here i guess i'll show you real quick the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to have our um two latches so we're going to have one there and that's going to open up the hook on that side and then i'll do this one over here and now that one's open too
and let us help you drive your dream.